Oh yeah, well when that was on MSNBC, you know, they, then uh, actually I, I, I think I was, I was asked a, a couple of tough questions. Why, why I would just keep advocating for the homeless and, and, and not just go out and, and, and get my own job and, and, just, and just take care of me. I, I just explained that, that I can't just walk away from, from advocating for the homeless, you know, and a lot of folks look up to me. And then, well, she also asked, well, why don't I just get a job in D.C. government where, whereby I can advocate for the homeless? And then I said, well, D.C. government and I have a rather adversarial uh, uh, relationship, you know. I, I've been known to, to put them out there when they, when they fail the poor people and the homeless people. Working for the government would, would limit how much I can say. Here you're working for... Shari, to get her to be part of the government, do you think she'll have a problem limiting, will it limit what she has to say if she becomes sheriff? Well, well, well she's actually said that, that, that she's not going to limit what she says or does, that, that she is going to refuse to evict people. And, and she has actually already said that, that uh, after she becomes sheriff, she expects to be arrested for, for not doing evictions, <laughs> you know. And, but... But, but she, she wants to make a statement, though, you know, and so what, whether she wins or not, she, she, she's going to make a statement either way. And if she wins, she can make a statement in, in a much bigger, better, and different way. I, I'm behind her 100%, and I, I would kind of hope that, that by her being an, an elected official, that, that she would have enough leeway to, to, to follow her conscience and, 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 and not be held down, you know, by, by her higher-ups.